guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you some bloxburg pool hacks this is a continuation of my previous pool hack video from summer of 2020 but with new and updated hacks the hacks in this video are the hot tub pool leveling water line tiles pool coping hacks and a few details to add to your pool also the timestamps are on the screen for if you would like to skip to a specific hack. If you are going to recreate the pool hacks in this video, please give credits if you are going to share them with others. Finally, all these hacks are going to need the advanced placement and basement game passes. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is the rest of the pool tour. The first hack in this video is going to be the hot tub hack. Um, the game passes needed are the advanced placement and basement game passes, and these are some photos of it. So you want to start off by putting a basement a bit larger than what you're actually going to be putting the hot tub at, so you can delete the basement so you can put the pool. So you're going to want to start off with a square basic shape and size it to how tall you want the bottom of your pool of your hot tub to be. And now you're gonna wanna place some chairs and don't forget to rotate them, um, rotate them so that uh, you sit the correct way. Now take a basic cube and Size them to about the height and width of the chairs and just uh, put them over them. So now you have your hot tub bench. Next, take a uh, shelf and then you're going to want to put some fog machines on it because it looks better than the bubblers clipping through. You know, also give a steam effect. So these will be the bubblers for the uh, for the hot tub, and this is what it will look like. I put them right above the seats, but I'd recommend putting them a little bit higher when you actually do it, uh, so it'll look nicer. walls and uh, seats of the hot tub and I also colored the bobblers and deleted the fence surrounding it for the layout. Now you're going to want to take some basic cubes and size it to about the width of the shelf and size it all the way up to the top of the wall and then place it across and put it all around the hot tub. Now I started to take another basic cube and put it above the lower part of the hot tub to make like it stand out a bit more and be higher than the rest of the pool. So I'm just gonna put these all the way around and I'm not um, putting it all the way out so that I can have an inside texture and an outside texture of the hot tub. And now I put, and now I'm scaling that basic cube, or basic shape cube thing, um, to the size I want it to be, going around the uh, hot tub. 
so then I can put both of the textures. So I deleted the basement. Don't put the pool. I highly suggest to not put the pool because it will be a huge hassle to go and um, just to delete the water. I deleted the water off camera, but just don't do it. So now I'm making the coping. I know that there's a separate hack for it, but I figured I'd just include it in making the hot tub. So you're gonna wanna take the basic cube and scale it down flat, and then scale it to the width uh, that you would like it to be. And you wanna have some overhang over the pool, just to make it more like an actual uh, coping. And now I'm making the spillway uh, so I'm just leaving a bit of the coping off for this spillway. And now I'm figuring out some textures that I'd like to have for the outer part of the uh, pool. And I'm coloring it. But I'm going to later change it to blue because that matches the outside of the house. So I just changed it to blue. Now I'm finding a texture for the coping that I like. And I felt like this looked like actual coping tiles in real life, so I chose it. Now, I put a basement there just to show that you could use the spill, you, for the spillway, you can go and put some of those uh, waterfalls to make it look like it's spilling out. Now, right here, I took uh, a thin standard square uh, structural item and I made it as tall as it could go and I textured it and colored it. And now I'm just copying and pasting it all around for the waterline tiles. I know that there is a pool hack for that, but yeah. Now our second hack is going to be the pool leveling hack. So the game passes you will need are advanced placement and basement game passes. And those are some pictures of what it looks like. To start off, you're going to want to put a basement across your whole entire pool with an area to delete the basement. And then you're going to want to wall the pool now just because it will be easier. I know the new Bloxburg update recently came out, but it will still make some of the other hacks a bit easier in this video. And as you can see, I can't really place the wall on the other area, but I'll just use basic shapes to cover it. So I'm going to take the basic cube and scale it for part of the shallow end and tiny wedge and surface area and I'm just scaling it to the height I want some areas of the pool to be. shape and I'm gonna scale it to what I want it to be just so we don't have that blocky like drop like with the normal pool if you want different levels this will just make it look a bit cleaner but I'm going to add a seating area around the hot tub so I'm just moving it off to the side don't if you are gonna recreate this pool do not um, uh, put any seats on the side I'm currently working on because I deleted that later because I forgot I was going to put part of the sun deck or tanning wedge, whatever you'd like to call it there. And yeah, but right now I'm just making the base of it. So I'm uh, not actually going to cover it with these, but this is just to raise up the chairs.
create the wall that wasn't really popping up and I'm just scaling it to the size. It's not, this for some reason wasn't really going that high, but I scaled it to the thickness and I copied it over. And then this thing was really tall. I don't know what kind of glitch happened, but something must have happened. So I scaled that down and scaled the other side back up and yeah. So now I'm just gonna start adding the seats around um, on this, uh, on the, bench so now i am going and putting the uh, basic cube above the seats to hide them and uh, I must have clipped out the part where I actually scaled them up, but you're just going to want to scale them up so that it covers the uh, seats. And I'm going and scaling the uh, triangular prism to the same way. And over here, I realized that I made a mistake because I was going to put the tiny larger someday there and now I'm taking the basic cube and just scaling it to the size of a tanning ledge and yeah and then I realized I'm just gonna go and make it a bit thinner or shorter in the area by the um by the bench just to make it look a bit cleaner and it wider so now we're gonna start working on the staircase. I decided I'm gonna build a staircase uh, with the basic shapes by scaling them rather than actually putting the Bloxburg staircases because, well, the Bloxburg staircases look kind of weird in the pool with a sun deck. So I figured I'd just make it by themselves and they look more like um, stairs you'd have in an actual pool. So now I'm just coloring everything up and deleting those outlines, and that's it. So now it's time for the waterline tiles. The game passes needed our advanced placement and basement, and that's a picture of what they look like. And yes, I did do this in the hot tub, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm doing it in the pool. So I'm taking the standard square uh, structural item and scaling it and coloring it. Um, so then I realized, I think I should probably just go and, uh, you know, do the structural item thingy where you extend it, like how I'm doing here, and that's really how I did the hat. And now you can also do a double layer if you'd like. Personally, I'm not the greatest fan of it, but you can do that if you'd like. So that's about it for this hat. Now, our last hack is the pool coping hack, and the game pass has needed our advanced placement and basement, and that's what it looks like. Yes, I also did do this in the hot tub, uh, but you're just going to want to take the, um, the cube and uh, basic shape, and you're going to want to flatten it. You're going to want to have a little bit of overhang, and I would recommend uh, texturing it. Uh, before you start copying it and pasting it just so you can save a bit of money. Now you're gonna want to put it all around the pool like I'm doing and I'm just fixing up some of the edges that look cool.
last thing I'm including in the video, it's not really hack, but it's full details. And those are some pictures of it, and also it's going to need the advanced placement and basement geometry. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing for the pool details is I'm going to put on a wall light. I'm putting on this industrial uh, shield wall lamp, and I'm just coloring it, and I placed it on the wall. So that's really the first detail that I have for the pool. The next one is a drain. So I'm just going to take the cylinder, flatten it, and then scale it to the size I'd like. Next, I'm going to go and take some structural items and make a plus sign in the drain, color it up, and there. I'm just going to place two just because that's what most pools I've seen have for this size. Next, I'm going to go and put some uh, chairs on the tanning ledge. Um, I later replaced these chairs because I felt like the plastic chairs would fit in better just because, um, you know, they're plastic. So they'd probably be better for the pool. I also tried to make custom pillows to put on it with the rods, but that didn't work. And also that would be kind of weird. So I just stuck to these ones. And I also tried putting a umbrella, but I felt like it looked a little bit low. So I just deleted that. Um, and lastly, I'm just gonna delete the, uh, the basement and just fill it up the pool with water. I'm putting the shallow pool in areas where the shallow pool will fit and then the medium pool in areas where the medium pool will fit and large where the large areas will fit um, just so I can save some money and this is the finished result of the pool. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this video and subscribed if you haven't already. Bye!